Okay, so today we are going to make a Hugel culture bed with a worm tower in this raised bed. Uh, so this is dug right down. It's actually a little bit lower than grade. Um, what we're going to do is put down cardboard and then some big uh, old rotten limbs and some twigs and then some uh, hay and then a Mel's mix of topsoil and uh, compost and vermiculite and uh, some peat moss. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just laying in the cardboard just to help keep the weeds down and give the worms something to eat. So next thing you need is the worm tower and we're just using an old tree uh, pot. So I'm using a step bit, uh, it goes up to three quarters so I'll go right through and just drill a bunch of holes in there. Measurement doesn't matter. This is basically just to let the worms in and out. So next thing I did is put down a little bit of compost here just to get the, the worms a bit of a path to get in here. And I'll just put that right in the center. Just look at it crossways to make sure that it's aligned where I want it. And then we're ready to start putting in some of the bigger limbs. And I've got a bit of a variety of wood. Um, stuff that's a little bit more rotten and stuff that's a little bit more fresh. So just gradually release nutrient and hold in water. So that's the big stuff I got. Now put in some little ones. I don't have a terribly deep raised bed here so we can't go too crazy with the wood. So next I've got an old hay bale. Just gonna sprinkle that around and that'll do the same thing. Uh, Leaves are better, but we don't have that right now today. So at this point, I would like to wet this stuff down, try to get it pre-saturated, and uh, get to settle down a little bit, get the airspace out. This bed uh, we just treated with a linseed oil, 50% um, that, and then 50% uh, paint thinner. Uh, the paint thinner helps that linseed oil to penetrate right into the wood, and then it evaporates, uh, leaving linseed oil in the wood. Um, just a deeper protection, basically. We don't like using preserve preservatives in the garden too much. Linseed oil is pretty harmless. Okay, so I've got this full to the uh, six inch mark. So we've got six inches of Google culture, and I topped it with uh, soil from an old garden bed, which was actually pretty fertile, so it's not, um, not too bad as a base. Um, so that leaves about six inches here of bed, which is going to be the bulk of where we plant for depth in that. So the next step will be uh, two inches of uh, vermiculite. Two inches of peat moss, two more inches of compost and soil. And then once that layer is done, we'll kind of turn it all in and mix it up in place. So that gives us our one third, one third, one third. And we're already, as we're going, we're just putting weeds in there and uh, some beginnings of compost. So this is our two inches of peat moss here. Just uh, trying to keep the layers all fairly flat so it's a consistent mix. Here is our vermiculite step. Again, two inches of that. Okay, so we've got it all topped up with compost and more garden soil. And now it's uh, mixing it all up. I'm using this garden claw. It's kind of a cheesy tool, but it does work good. 
You see the depth of that tine gets all the way down to the start of our layers. So just lots of this, mixing it up. Okay, so that bed is all turned in. And you can see there's lots of vermiculite mixed up now and then you can see bits of peat moss. So it's all mixed up nicely. So that's some L's mix right there. Okay, so that bed is done. My wife has already planted some of these uh, lettuce tape rolls. We'll see how those go. Um, now I'm gonna put some kitchen scraps in here. A little kitchen compost peel. So we got coffee grounds and eggshells. All kinds of lovely, gross stuff. So the idea is the worms can just migrate into there, come in and out as they want, um, compost it gradually, and that'll spread the nutrient right out into the bed. And we'll also water into there occasionally, and that will help that nutrient travel around in there. Um, so the last thing, put my little plywood cover on, and perfect spot for a garden gnome or a squirrel. And there we go. Thanks for watching.